name's Rachel. This is my first YouTube video. I've always wanted to do YouTube videos, but I never found the courage to do it. I literally spend my whole life on YouTube, so I don't know why I'm doing it all of a sudden. And here comes my dog. So today I'm going to be doing a review. Um, it's just something that I've always wanted to try. I've seen a lot of people talking about it. People have said it's like the best thing that Revlon came out with. It's actually their blow dryer blowout brush. I really wanted to try. Me and my sister both have been like dying to try it and I just want to see if it makes my everyday routine a lot better. I never really blow dry my hair just because I thought that it wasn't supposed to be that good for you. Um, I'm also not really the best hair care person <laughs> so we will see how this works. Um, I want to see if it works with not damp hair or if it works better with damp hair. I'm assuming it's probably gonna work better with damp hair just because it is a blow dryer. So comes like this. It actually had another package, but to be honest, when my Ulta box came in, I thought it was way too light and I didn't think this came in. But this is actually super light. It's really big. I can try and get this out of here. I like that it's super light. I feel like that's a really good thing, especially since, you know, it is really big. Um, I got the blue one. They do have a black and pink one, I think, is the other one. Kind of looking at it like it might be too big for my hair. <laughs> so, I guess we will see what happens. Um, and then it just comes like this, and you just plug it into the wall. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay. So, it does have a off cool low and high like every other blow dryer which I really like and you just twist the bottom and it turns on um so before we begin I'm going to go in with my living proof heat styling spray courtesy of Ulta I'm just gonna I really don't actually know the right way to apply this <laughs> I'm sure it says it on but I don't to just do it everywhere because I don't want heat damage mostly at the bottom I actually have a Revlon um, hair mask that I've been using too that I really love and I told my hairdresser, my girl Kelsey, <laughs> um, I told her that I was using the entire hair mask and I didn't really know why and she was like, well, where are you putting it? I'm like, all literally all over my hair and she's like, girl, you just gotta put it at the bottom. So I was literally using an entire bottle in like two times. So I was really confused. I was like, why, is, why am I doing this? And then I'm going to also brush out my hair just to make sure that this is a smooth application. My hair is, gets really knotty, especially right now with quarantine. I'm literally doing nothing. <laughs> I don't think my hair has seen any heat in like two months, maybe. I've literally been doing, obviously, the lockdown that we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Alright, so then I'm going to go ahead and just put it on low and see what it does. Um, I really have a feeling it's not going to work well with dry hair. Um, if you see me look over, it's because my dog is coming over. Um, <laughs> and he likes to play with my ring light. Um, <laughs> I really don't think it's going to work, but I saw some girl on TikTok use it, um, like on dry hair, so I'm hoping that it works. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on low and see what happens, and I really just bear with me because I don't really even know how to exactly, like, do this yet. Like, in my mind I do, but... I don't know. So that was a super fail. Um, it didn't really do anything, so I'm assuming that it's probably not going to work um, with not damp hair. So I'm going to go ahead and try and damp my hair and see what happens because I really do want to see how this works because I do believe that it can definitely cut off a lot of time in the mornings. The only problem is, is that I do not uh, shower in the mornings normally, um, so we'll see what happens. 
Okay, so I came back and I dampened my hair, so let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and brush through it. And I would obviously say that, you know, if you are going to take a shower in the morning and this is going to be your routine of blow drying your hair, I would make sure that you use like a mask or something once a week or at least use like a leave-in conditioner. Something to help your ends because obviously blow drying, I mean, I actually really don't know if it's that bad for you or not, but I've always heard that it is, but then... That one famous guy on YouTube that does the hair stuff, he told me a lot of myths about hair that I thought were the real deal, so I guess follow him and find out. <laughs> Blow drying isn't that great for you every day. Um, I can't imagine it would be, but yeah. So I guess we'll see now since my hair is damp. I really try to dampen it, but it's like some areas are really wet and some areas are not, so let's just see. So as you can see, I sectioned off my hair. Um, I sectioned it off so that there's only a little bit of pieces at the bottom, trying to see if it's easier. If this was obviously out of the shower, my hair would be a lot more smooth, but right now it's it was just damp. It just had product in it, um, and it was washed last night, so it's a little bit knotty. Um, so I'm going to try and work with that. Um, I think if I section it off like this, it'll be perfect. Um, so I'm hoping that I can do this right. And I know I'm so late to the game on this. I know, like, everyone's already, you know, kind of seen it. It's been, like, I think a year since it came out. But I work at Ulta, and everyone's been talking about it all the time. So I'm like, I need to get this. Um, so here I am, a year late. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> to apply the BB Thickening Dry Spin Finish. Um, it's a texturing, it's my bubble bubble actually. <laughs> um, it's a texture spray so I just kind of apply it just to give myself a little bit of some oomph. Honestly though after this brush I really don't need it too much which I like. Um, also don't quote me on how close you're supposed to spray it because I just kind of spray closer than normal. I think for pretty much everything. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my Paul Mitchell hairspray, which I love Paul Mitchell. Um, their stuff's really great. And just normal. I like to just give it kind of a tease and like throw it over. So this is the final look. Um, 
I would definitely recommend this brush for anyone that, you know, ha takes a shower in the morning and wants to use this to kind of give a blowout. Um, I don't normally take showers in the morning, so if I wanted to do this, it might be kind of hard. I might have to start taking showers in the morning. I just would rather sleep. Um, so I really believe that this is actually could be really good. I think it's more user error with myself and not being able to really see what I'm doing. I'm literally looking like a long ways away from this mirror um, and trying to figure out what I'm doing. So I definitely believe that it could be great. Um, it already looks really good from what I've done. I really like that it's just like an effortless blowout look. It really does look like I just kind of got up and went to the salon and then went to work. <laughs> so I'm really hoping um, that I can get a little bit better at it, but I do like it for what it is. It's only $50, which really isn't that bad for a, you know, hair dryer, um, unless you're buying Dyson, obviously. Um, but there are other ones that are like this. I know of one, I really can't think of the name right now, that's around like $150. And this one's only $50. Um, maybe in the future I will try out both and see how I like them because I've heard a lot of people say that this one tops that one by like 100%, especially for what you're getting for your money. So yeah, overall, I definitely really like this product. I would recommend it. Um, super easy. It does take a minute, but eventually I seem to be able to get it. Um, and yeah, just a one-step hair dryer, which I really like, and I love the idea. So that's it. This is my first video. I'd greatly appreciate if you could subscribe, hit the like button, um, comment down below what you think about this brush, and if you've tried it, or, you know, if you want to try it. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I really appreciate it, and I'll see you later.